who who do we have here then, Mr. Green? So this is Ellie. She's very new to clay shooting. Um, just been shooting a little bit. You haven't shot a gun for about a year now. Oh, but yeah. Um, yeah, so we're just going to do a little bit of practice, just let Ellie have a go. She's never even shot a 12 bore, she's only used a 20 bore, so we're just going to have a few little shots. Um, we're only using whole X Comp 21 gram, so they're nice and low recoil, they shouldn't kick her. Um, but yeah, we're, so we're just going to have a shot and just see how she gets on. Okay. You know, we're going to start with a rabbit. Okay. Is that a good one to start on or is that a terrible one to start Probably on? Probably the worst target to start <laughs> on, <laughs> but we're just going to have a go. Yeah, so anyway, we're going to have a look at the rabbit. Let's shoot one target and we'll see how far you're out or you're not. Okay, so just our head for my kill. Yeah, you go, for, you go for it where you think and let's go with it there. Okay, cool. Sorry. It's fine. Let's do one more time. Excellent. Am I too far ahead? Yeah, so you're miles in head, okay. So what we're gonna do now, you're not you're shooting it in the right play, that's that's fine. Your body's set up in line with that. You're coming back fine, okay, but we're gonna let the rabbit come up, okay, let it come up to your gun before you actually start moving. Okay. All right. So, so I'm still where, up there. yeah. So if you're going to shoot the target here and you're coming back to here, yeah. you say pull. All right. Okay. We're going to let the clay come up and basically nearly hit the barrel before okay. you actually start moving. Okay. Yeah. If you say pull before, okay, and the clay comes up and you start moving, you've got this massive gap between the get barrel and and the clay, and you're going to miss the target in front. Okay. Okay. That target doesn't want any lead as such, but it's your you're relying more on the gun speed, okay? Just okay. match the speed of the target. And pretend you're gonna shoot the very front edge of that target. Okay. okay? We're just gonna let it come up to the gun and shoot the front edge. Okay. Now don't move off that hole point where you're holding until the clay comes up and nearly touches the barrel. Okay. Pull. Am I shooting it too quick? No, you're fine. One more. Remember not to move until that comes up and we're just going to shoot the front edge of the target. Pull. Oh, I let it get ahead of me. Okay, now just take a second longer to shoot it. Okay. All right, because we're shooting it right on the edge of the, of the mat. Okay, yeah. now we're going to shoot it. So pull, we're going to shoot it there. Okay, okay so shall I face here? So yes, yeah, it. So turn okay. your feet, set yourself up to shoot it there. Yeah. Come back 50%. Okay, and it will just give you more time to see the rabbit and okay. actually let that shot happen. Okay. Pull. Do you know what happened? I, well, I think I rushed it and then I've left, I've got ahead of it. As soon as you said pull, you started to move. Too early. And was, yeah, and then you've got this big gap, you were miles in front for a start and you probably missed it six foot in front because you yeah. already started, as soon as you said pull, you started moving. Yeah. Well, you're way in front of the target for a start. The only thing you can do then is either stop the gun, yeah. let the clay catch up and restart yeah, again. Yeah. Okay. But it's very hard to do, you're not going to. So that's why we always hold point. Okay, don't listen to that trap, okay? Move on site. Let the clay come up and then move by that. Don't move when you hear the clay trap actually go off. Okay. All right? Yeah. Try again. Okay. Stop, let it come to you, shoot the front edge. Perfect. Happy? Yeah, no, you're right. I, I start to overthink it. You're yeah. Right. Thank you, though. No worries. <laughs> do, you keep, uh, do you keep your eyes open, Ellie, or do you close I'm, one? Do you... I'm terrible. I'm sure it's probably wrong, but I, I do shut this one, so I only have my eye along the barrel, um, okay. which I'm sure is probably wrong. I know you hear people say keep your eyes open, but... <laughs> That's just what I tend to do. Anyway, okay. But, yeah. Would you try and move Ellie to opening both eyes, do you think, over time if you were No, her? we had this debate, uh, me and Phil had this debate the other day. Um, I shoot with both eyes open for everything. Um, so it's easy for me to say, keep both eyes open, just do that. But we all see things so differently. And some people have got a stronger master eye or they're, it, it's so varied. Um, it's whatever works for you. I know people that sort of low income in stuff or a crow, yes, they have to shut an eye and basically rifle that target, but then they'll get a crosser where they can keep both eyes open. It's finding whatever works for you. There's no right or wrong really in it. So this debate then you were having, Phil, so what's the, uh, 
What was your side of the story? Well, he's cross-eyed anyway. <laughs> <laughs> As Sam said, every eye is different. Um, me personally, I shoot right-handed. However, I am my left eye is my master eye, and it's stronger than my right. Um, so for me, I have to let my right eye take over, and by doing that, I have to. To get to, how to get that to, to, to perform like that is to squint my left eye. It's the only way I get to see the picture that I Let's need see, to. That's how you, that's how, so what do you do? So I, I literally have to just squint just probably a quarter <laughs> of, the, of the eye shut to take to take the right eye no into you wear master. Glasses. Pardon? No wonder you wear glasses. When you <laughs> I should do wear it. a patch like a pirate. Um, yeah, so for, for me, that's the only way that I can see the picture that I need to. Uh, if I keep both eyes open, I look down, uh, I just see the side of the barrel with my, my left okay. eye. Okay. 